Good evening, everyone. So I'm Veronica Mai from Hong Kong Student University. So first of all, I would like to thank for UGRC to invite me to share my very limited, even more limited experience, okay, in the proposal preparation. But I think it will help the first time proposal writer like me, okay, for my presentation. So let me start. Okay, I titled my presentation as like seeing like a panelist. So I think, uh, so I know that we are going to have a marking scheme sort of from the panelists during that, okay, what are the, the guidelines and also reflections on the, this, time, uh, this round of the proposal evaluation. But I'm going to do that uh, from our insider uh, applicant's perspective. So I'm going to show my mark to you, okay, which details really gain marks and which doesn't, okay. So let me start. So before I start, I want to highlight that I'm the background of myself is that I have no experience okay, in writing uh, RGC grant proposal. However, I got it. So everyone, the first time writer, okay, you have one good advantage is that you are going to devote a lot of time okay, in that. And that is your advantage because you need more time for revisions. And however, you also have a disadvantage is that um, you have, I don't know which part, okay, will be, uh, which point to put in, in the proposal is more important. So I have the blessing is that I have very good colleagues that also very experienced, especially I want to acknowledge Selena Chen. So she's sort of my advisor in proposal writing. Uh, I revised six times and she read for five times. And also Professor Hui, you phone, uh, comments and also support from our department head, okay, Jen Yuwa. So, okay, let me start. So for um, for, the, uh, for today, I would like to talk about four main aspects. Title, okay, theory, impact, feasibility. These are the four most important things you need to bear in mind for your proposal preparation. First of all, title. Think about title as if a brand, your proposal as a product. So the title should tell the panelists all the things that is most important of your product. That include three things. First of all, your theory contribution. I would say that is the crucial number one important thing. Second, scope of study. Number three, objective. So how I put it? Okay, for my title, I put it heritizing the chain in mushroom cultivation system, understanding agricultural heritage construction and sustainability in China using the actor network theory. So from this title, you already know what is the subject and scope of study. This is the mushroom cultivation system in China in Chengyun. Second objective is to understand the heritage process, how is it being constructed, and the impact sustainability. Lastly, very important, theoretical contributions. It is about using the actor network theory. Okay, so title is crucial, important. Give the panelists an idea without reading your proposal, already grab what you are going to talk about. Second, theory. Theory, I would say this is the most crucial thing in getting a FDS grant. And for this case, I only got, I only find out the niche in theory contribution until the third round of my revisions. So, um, having studying some area that nobody studied before is not sufficient. You have to have either a new perspective about the theory or a new variables. For my case, okay, I studied the heritage network instead of just the actors that is the most prominent area, okay, the, uh, the current study mostly focused on the heritage transmitter and also other actors, the stakeholders. However, I studied the network. Second, new variables, that is, the scientists, okay? The scientists is seldom studied as an important variable in affecting how a certain site or cultural, um, cultural heritage is being constructed. So I show you, okay, what is my comment I got so that you know what exactly the panelists are looking for. For example, one of the overall comment, it tell us that, okay, uh, they value that the, um, I put it, my, my study of the daily activities of the actors, that is the scientists, the policymakers and also the uh, farmer as a network is important. And other point, and other comment uh, pointing the innovative and originality part is also pointing about the theory. It's about I'm the first attempt. Okay, I'm the first one to look at the actors in a network form, and also and put it in a heritage study. 
Another one is about I look at both the human and non-human actor. So this is also part of the actor never theory. It talks about that we do not only study the at uh, the human one, but also the non actor light for my subject is like the uh, mushroom, the landscape, the soil, the wood, the forest, etc. Number three, okay, most important area you need to bear in mind is the impact. I think it's, this point is also mentioned in uh, Professor Lewis Chen's presentation. I totally agree, okay. I think for all the proposal, that would be have good impact not only in ivory tower but also as for human mankind. The only tips is that how you put present it in your proposal and make it convincing. So for my my presentations, I I, I for my proposal, um, I think for when I choose different topics, I will look into okay which area that not only good for the theory but also good for mankind. And so you have to have the confidence, okay, and be bold to tell it the public about that. Okay, think about the present big global problem. I think if you have some some idea in your mind, develop a good proposal. Don't just work on theory. Um, in the beginning, we think that the impact part usually are the most easier uh, part to write. Um, however, what I find is that it is easy to write, but it is very important. Uh, nowadays for the proposal approval because what I find in the strength of my proposal they mention a lot about the impact that I'm contributing to the, not only the short term on the conservations but also in long term about food security uh, and also environmental protection that is also my objectives as well because mushroom uh, agriculture is a kind of cash crop that is good for the farmer good for the mankind uh, it is easy to farm and also to have good nutrition, okay, instead of the uh, eating animals. Okay, we can see that, okay, this is the impact is not only limited to the strength of my proposal on the impact part, but impact can also be put in the innovative part. You see that, okay, the uh, panelists point out that the most innovative elements of my project is that it is on the construction of heritage. It's not only about heritage, but it is about a cash crop. So from this, you can see that if you think about how that Im impact the mankind, you look at the angle of the, like the, the crops that is affecting our daily life, and it becomes a kind of point that put into the innovative part. So it gained mass. Okay, and other, and other comment also point out the impact is that my propose my project will benefit to the policymaker, farmers, and also for the conservation. So you can see that the impact now, the impact part now is very important for whether your proposal will get the money or not. Okay? So the last part will be feasibility. After you find the right theoretical angle, after you stay out your global impact, then it is time that you point out that you are the one to carry it and it is feasible. I know that you know in your heart that you can carry out your proposal, but what you need to do in your proposal is to convince the panelists that you are the best one to do it. Secondly, you have a good plan to do it and you, you are very sure that you can do it. So in order to ensure that everyone, okay, understand and also supports that you are the good one to do it, first of all, you need to when you draft the proposal, try to think that you are going to do the field work tomorrow. So what are you going to do in your preparation list, your notebook? So first of all, I think you have to have a good network and connections before you go into the field. So for my case, I look, I studied the mushroom, right? So I will have, I build up the network of the farmers in Changyun by inviting them to be on my advisory board, the scientists, the policymaker and also the NGOs in Hong Kong and China, so that the network already built before I do the fieldwork in China, in Chengyun. Second, okay, so for when you put down your methodology, don't just put the term like participation observation. So I know this term is very popular now and many people know about that. But if you can put uh, an article that they conduct as very similar research as if yours, for example, in my case, it's Bluedos and Vocals. They do a 
um, traditional agricultural system study in Mexico. So they are quite relevant to my study because I will go to the woodland to see how the farmer cut, uh, cut the scarf on the chopped wood and grow the mushroom. So when you find a similar study, put it in your proposal so that they know that okay, the panelists can visualize how you really do it as if it is in front of them. Okay, so uh, when I draft the proposal, I don't know this kind of detail, the nitty gritty thing are so important. But when I see the marks I got, I find they put it in the overall comments. They even put the quote, okay, they put the, the uh, article name in as put down in the overall comments and even in, in, in the string. That's okay, because they believe that I can handle it. Uh, because I have the previous experience that I written in my CV that I have done similar research before. So CV is also very important that you need to write down what is relevant in your previous study compared with this one. And then they find even though this is an aggressive uh, project, they think you can do it. Okay. So I'll show you another comment that also point out the similar thing. So like uh, they point out that it's an ambitious proposal. However, I have been uh, performed well in my previous, like the, uh, the publication in, in top general journals. And also, I also actively present in international conference. And also I have done similar research before. So that even though now I study an area in the mushroom, they have confidence that I can do it. Even though, though they put some criticism, like this one, you see that suggests improvement. That is a sort of criticism about me that uh, I should not only look at the scientists in agriculture, I should expand it to ecolo uh, ecologists and also lateral scientists. Totally, I agree. However, they give justice to me and they further the kind of support me that, okay, because I have done a similar research in milk that I put it in my CV so that they have confidence that even though it is a criticism, even though I need to improve that, they have confidence that I can accomplish it. So making sure that your panelists, okay, trust you in your, by presenting clearly in your CV, you have done something very, very relevant and also put down all the details. Uh, in the methodology at uh, a high marks to your proposals. Okay, so last few words, okay, before I end, uh, I will say that, okay, no luck without hard work. Okay, all the panelists are super, super smart. Uh, I still remember that I add the last concept of sustainability in the last one month before I submit. And one of the panelists already spot this out and her, uh, he or she's, her suggestion is that I should make more okay thorough discussion about sustainability. So I, I found that the panelists are super, super smart and they know that which concept I put the less effort. Second, okay, revision is essential for my case. Okay, uh, I have revised for six times. Okay, I know that you don't need to. I have already done the worst. Uh, to make your proposal absolutely clear, Highlight all the key concepts and keywords in your proposal. Make sure that you have explanation for that. Okay, that's what I would like to talk about today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mack. We will now have a short Q&A section on the presentation by Dr. Mack. You mentioned that we need to be bold to address pressing big and global problem. However, visibility is in fact also a critical factor to be considered by the assessment panel. And so how can you convince the panel that your proposal is feasible, although you are addressing a big research question? Okay, very good questions. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, maybe I use my case as a, an example. So I study, okay, a little tiny plant is called mushroom. So everyone eat mushroom, I, I suppose, most. Uh, it is a very easy to grow. Okay, so that thing, uh, it now become a national, uh, a global agricultural heritage nowadays because they use, uh, there's a special uh, Asian um, agricultural method. So this is a kind of tiny thing. Okay, so you, we study small thing, but from that, okay, uh, mushroom is a highly sustainable product because it can be used for food, it can be used for energy, it can be used to digest waste. 
So think about your project. Even though your project may be about literature, maybe it will about literature is usually linked up to mankind. So it is about our accidental existence. It's about our just about life and death. So think about this, okay? From a little thing that you do, but every little step can help the planet. That is what I believe. Okay, thank you, Dr. Matt.